with this place. This was where my father prepared for his quest. With every film that we make, we want to do something unique, something original, to tell stories that aren't typically told in animation. We are moving in different directions, and Kubo is definitely the most epic thing we've ever done. I, I don't got this. I don't got this! Oh, for crying out loud! At its core, Kubo and the Two Strings is a stop-motion samurai film. <sighs> And as we started to develop the film over time, it became something that was much more. This isn't just about fighting monsters. You know, it's about family, it's about love, it's about trust. It's a great mythical adventure. Impressive. One of the things that really drew me to the project was the relationship between Kubo, Beetle, and Monkey. Must you play with your food? Yes. Kubo goes from his simple life to the big scary world out there. And so he has to go through this journey to uh, fulfill his heroic destiny. And there are all kinds of challenges along the way. Well, you know, everything in it was too ambitious. But if something seems like it can't be done, that's normally when we show an interest in it. You know, a big epic action film, that's just not something that's typically done in stop motion. And for a good reason. How do we do stylized water? How do we do massive monsters emerging from the shadows? How do we make these characters come to life in a way that feels real? We certainly hadn't done that before, and I think the scale of it has never been done before. There's something so seamless about it. When technology can marry storytelling like that, it's really powerful. We're now here at the end of a five-year process, and it really is a testament to all the artists who took this impossible challenge and turn into this incredible piece of cinema.